Brandon Brown back at you with test optional schools, the best ones out there. And today we're looking at the University of Hartford. I actually went to college in Middletown, Connecticut, which is not too far from Hartford. And I met a lot of cool people, including my frat Rue, uh, to the good distinguished gentleman of Omega Sci-Fi Attorney Incorporated, uh, the Hartford chapter, Tau Iota, but not enough about me, Hartford. Great school, really, really doing a lot of great things. The city itself has come a long way since I was there 20 plus years ago. So um, please check out the University of Hartford. And I'm not just telling you that because yes, it is a test optional school and I want students to be aware of that as they go through the college admissions process. But I do think that the city plus the school offer students a variety of options educationally. Let's quickly look at their degree programs and we'll look at their uh, test optional admissions policy. But Hartford has always been you know, next to maybe UConn and also Yale and Wesleyan, um, Trinity, one of the better schools, top 10 schools in the state of Connecticut. That makes it one of the top 20 schools in, in all of New England. I'm a big fan of the city. I'm a big fan of the school. And I think that because the city is booming in so many ways, the majors that kids are taking and then using to apply for jobs in Hartford or in Boston or in New York, I think are really serving them well. So again, uh, education is a big thing at Hartford. Um, as is of uh, history, no business. They had a, a uh, yes, yes, visual arts, forgive me. Visual arts and creative arts is a big at the University of Hartford. So again, if you are a student or you have a student who wants to be an educator, who is interested in possibly doing something a little more artistic, Hartford could be a great place because the city gives you the energy plus the experience of having um, the education and the experience, the internship possibilities. Let's look at their testing policy. As we go through the best test optional schools in the country, Harford is one that I want to bring to your attention because they've been doing this for the past two, three years. So they're not new to the game. Given COVID-19, coronavirus, a lot of schools are going to test optional policies for the uh, admission cycle of 20 and 2021. Not Harford. They've been doing this for a while. They will require scores if you apply for certain scholarships. Okay, so let's be very clear. Engineering, architecture, robotic scholarships, um, or, so there are certain stipulations in which or schools you need to still submit testing. But overall, um, they do not require testing. They want to test optional policy in fall 2018. So they've been doing this for a while. And it's consistent with their holistic manner of reviewing applications. They want to see students kind of thrive first academically in school, extracurricularly, and then think about what they're going to bring to the Hartford community. So as you know, we are using college plan custom college plan to review colleges and, and help students understand selectivity, size, cost. Um, and this is the program that we use with all of our clients, whether they're in our college major and career success program or our college list builder program, this is our core piece. And a ton of resources. If you're interested, you can always hit us up at strategicmissionsadvice.com. But I'm a big fan of the University of Hartford. I'm glad it's a test optional school. And I think you should check it out. Thanks. Check us out tomorrow.